Hi guys, how's it going? In this video, uh, we'll talk about if you if you if you install a fresh Laravel application on XAMPP, LAMP stack on Mac, or I think in Windows as well. And you set up all your settings, but when you first hit the 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 home route in the browser, and you come you're presented with this error. I'll show you how to fix this error really quickly, and also explain you why the why the heck this happens. Now just to present this um, to to make to let's just let's try to understand where I am currently and how I got here. So the very first thing is I created a new Laravel application by using Laravel new and then I installed all the dependencies by just typing in composer install and that gives me the, the fresh Laravel application in my htdocs folder in the projects directory this is my Laravel application and then the next thing I did was to set up the virtual hosts on in httpd virtual host configuration file this is my virtual host configuration which is pointing to the demo app which is the name of the app and the public um, directory as the document root all the requests will will be served in, in this directory and uh, they will look for index.php so this is all good and also I have included in the EDC folder there's httpd daemon the http uh, daemon.conf configuration file which is basically if you look for virtual uh, keyword a couple of times you'll find there's a there's a requirement to um, include the virtual host file which is here so if there's a hash in the front make sure to get rid of that hash and restart Apache because if you make changes to virtual host file you you have to include those included as for implementation so remove the hash so it can be included when the Apache starts next time so that's all good there's nothing wrong about it now why the heck this is happening I've also created that virtual host and a host updated my host directory which is if you look at my hosts configuration the, I've added demo app dot app which is good there's nothing wrong now why the heck is this happening I'll show you why why this is happening it's wasting a lot of a lot of people's time so the very first thing is Laravel every time a request comes to Laravel's public directory it's served in index.php which basically includes autoload autoload.php in bootstrap folder which is here and in the auto load it's going to start create a constant start time and then it's going to include all this um, auto class loader and it's going to require the cached compiled list of all the objects uh, that we need to create an instead of instance of Laravel app in the in the memory now this cache exists here which is under storage framework cache and sessions these are the two directories which laravel uses for to be able to, for this framework to to run now by default when we install exam we, we the, the user the, the apache authorized user does not have read and write permissions to this directory so it's not able to create any session uh, data that's the reason the internally laravel has set up ses sessions uh, save path um, INI setting to this directory and it's not able to read and write for that reason it's not proceeding further but instead of giving us a small some kind of smart uh, exception here that go and check the permissions in your uh, sessions directory it's just giving us this pages and working which is not very smart so anyway now in order to give permissions to this directory we need to know the, the name of the user so what we do is we open up the um, exam edc httpd conf file and then you look for user a couple of times and you'll find that here when you install exam installation it default it comes with user daemon and group daemon so this is the this is the name of the user that comes by default and that's what we'll be using so go to go back to terminal and get inside your um, project and over here type sudo chan 
uh, recursively and the daemon to storage and hit enter as you can see there there are no errors so this should fix permission for daemon user so if i refresh now it goes to next step and then gives me error again but this error is slightly different i'll show you what this error is and when you install a new laravel application uh, how laravel works is it you, it creates a env configuration file and there's no env file so i have to i have to save this file as env use and now i have a env file and if you refresh now it gives you aes 128 bit cbc and these the the key lengths are not um, correct so there, there the pro there's a problem with this app key now these are just the encryption algorithms ciphers so what is this basically in the compile.php so if you go to cache there's no compile.php here i think it's here vendor um anyway uh, wherever that file is it's not a not a not a question right now i think it's compile okay so basically in your app settings it it says here somewhere it uses what kind of encryption it will use so it uses aes 256 bit cbc encryption cipher so if we, in order for this to function uh, correctly we need to generate an app key so there's no key set here and that has to be base 64 i think but laravel has a handy function php artisan key generate and once you run that as you can see base 64 and this is long hash is generated for us um, it's already been saved in env but that won't work unless you save you create this file or you save this file saving means it comes with all this information preset for you but if you create this file it may be empty so it doesn't know where to update the key it's better it's probably a good idea to save it and once you do that now this application should be able to go further and display the laravel's welcome screen so that's the reason this 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 problem is every time you do create a new project an exam you're presented with this problem and that's how you solve it thanks for watching and make sure to give give a thumbs up and share with your friends so other people don't spend as much time trying to solve this problem as we did and have a nice day. I'll see you next time. Thank you.